with Loving Life's Little Blessings. And I have a really fun project today. I am doing uh, St. Patrick's Day treats for my daughter's um, class. And I thought I would show you what I'm doing. So I wanted to use our French fry um, die. Uh, it works in the Big Shot and it's super easy to use. Let me just show you what it looks like. So here's what the die looks like and you just run it right through your Big Shot and then um, this comes out. Okay, so I'm doing uh, all of them in green, uh, but I wanted to show you how one goes together and I uh, forgot while I was making them and I put all of the green ones together. So the way it's all scored, so all you have to do is fold these in just like this and then there are score lines right here and they're kind of curved so what you do is you just kind of pinch it and it will naturally fold and curve okay it feels a little weird when you're doing it it's like you want to crease it or pinch it together more but really if you just ever so slightly pinch then that that crease line will naturally fold a little bit okay so I use hot glue to put these together uh, because it's quicker and it's stronger, obviously, um, but it's just quicker than like sticky strip, okay? So what I do is just hold it like this and then I need a new, sorry, a new glue stick. Oh, not quite yet. Okay, so just hold it together like this and then I just put a strip of glue right down um, the edge. And then what you're going to do is fold this together and the hot glue will give you a little wiggle room. It's, it doesn't dry um, right away. And what you want to do is make sure that, I got a little too much hot glue on there, is that your edges right here come together so you don't want to pinch it like this so the edge is sticking up and you don't want it really wide so it's just barely together and there's a gap what you're looking for is for it to come together and so that it is perfectly straight like that so let's do this side. I'll just finish putting this one together and then I'll show you the other things that I did. I did 30 of these. So they actually went together really fast. Like once I just figured out a rhythm, they went together really fast. So then the bottom part kind of curves up and then they sit like this, okay? So let me show you the green one that I did. So here is one of the green ones that I did. And I did this in Mossy Meadow is the color I used, okay? And then I have a tray full of stuff over here. So what I did is because I was doing 30 of them, I just cut everything out together. So I used my Cricut and I cut out these little four leaf clovers and then I embossed them with this embossing folder. And you can actually do two rows of paper at a time. So these were really easy because I just stacked them together and then I laid them out on my mat like this. So I was actually able to do eight of them at a time. So if you just stack them together like this, then it's really easy and you can do more than one at a time. So I was able to do eight by doing that and just stacking them together. So I embossed all of those and then I took my circle punch and I cut out gold circles. This was my two and a half inch circle punch and gold glimmer paper from Stampin' Up. So I just punched out 30 of these. I made 30 of them all together. Then I took these dies, these Simon Says Circle dies, and I cut out these. And then I used this stamp, which is actually a My Pink, uh, My Pink Stamper stamp. It just says ha um, Happy St. Saint, Saint Patrick's Day. And it's the only thing that I had that um, 
worked and then also I was thinking about printing something out I had looked at St. Patrick's Day printables uh, but I was out of ink for my printer on the day I was doing these so I just glued these together so you can see it's gold and then it says happy St. Patrick's Day and then all I did was glue this to the front of the fry boxes okay so that's the next thing we did so then I had the four leaf clover, I'll zoom in, and then I punched out a circle using, I think this is a three quarter inch punch. I just played around with my Cricut. Um, this was from the cartridge um, calendar, uh, designer calendar. So it's March and it is a shift. So it's up in the corner there. That's the clover, the four leaf clover. And I did it at two inches and I did it on real dial size. And then this is out of pear pizzazz. And then I just took another circle punch and punched out some little gold circles. And then I'm using a dimensional and I'm gonna put that right in the middle just like that and originally I was going to put this right on the front of the box like this but then I didn't want to stamp on the box and I couldn't figure out how to get the stamp over here so I settled for this to get that on the front of the box and then I have my four leaf clover and then I have some of this gold ribbon and then I had these three uh, St. Patrick's Day ribbons that were just in my stash I just dug them out and I've had them for a long time so let me show you the end result. I'll have to zoom out a tiny bit. So after I have all those pieces put together, this is what it's going to look like. Right now there's just a paper towel in this bag uh, just to fill it. <laughs> but what's going to be inside is there's going to be the little um, Hershey's chocolate nuggets and then also there will be a little bag of Skittles and so all I'm going to do is just put the candy right in the bag and then tie the bow around the top and then the little gold sequence ribbon and then I used a glue dot to attach this right to the bag and then the bottom part is the um, happy St. Patrick's Day so that's gonna be the St. Patrick's Day treats that I take for her class and I really love the way they turned out. I loved being able to use this gold um, sequence ribbon. I have a couple rolls of it. And I haven't really, I hadn't really found um, a use for it. And so when I was putting this project together and I was kind of getting out um, what I was going to use, I saw this and thought it would be perfect. So a couple of you have asked, what is my process? when I'm creating something like this. The first thing I always do is I always go to Pinterest. Um, you guys, most of my stuff really just comes from other ideas. I'm not all that creative. It just, it's not, you know, there's some people that just come up with things and definitely with certain things I am creative. But I really, really believe in casing and getting ideas from other people. And so that's the first thing I do. And I had kind of seen a few of the fry boxes on Pinterest and I thought, well, that would be cute and it would be easy and, you know, I could get treats in it. So that's how that started. And then I just, I dug out this ribbon and started with my colors and it kind of went from there. And I knew that I wanted to do something glittery and so I knew gold and green would go together perfectly for that holiday. And so um, that is... Uh, how it came about. I just kind of spread stuff out onto my table and just looked at what would go and then went from there. And then um, I love these little four leaf clovers. Um, I picked these because they were like more of a cutesy kind of four leaf clover. And I just stuck everything in this tin while I was working on it. So you can see these still need to be put together. So I just have the circles and these. And then all my boxes are put together. I hot glued them all at one time put all my circles on at one time I'll do these and then I'll fill the bags with candy I'll just do it in an assembly line and that will be much easier 
So that's how my little treats turned out. You can head on over to my website by clicking right up here. It will take you to my coordinating blog post and you'll be able to see photos of how this looks with the candy in it. And then also remember that this is the last month for celebrations. So any of those really fun celebration items that you would like, you can get for free. Um, when you place a $50 order, it's the free gift that comes with it. So you'll want to make sure that you pick up anything um, this month because we just have a few short weeks left of celebrations. So thank you guys so much for coming by and hanging out with me. Um, I will be back on Friday with a Memory Keeping Friday post. And um, I look forward to that. So thank you guys so much for coming by and I will chat with you later. Hey, if you want to play, make it about a place. It'll take creation, imagination, try to draw out